Good afternoon and welcome back to Ask the Lawyer. I'm your host, Brenda Teal, here answering your legal questions about nursing home abuse issues. Today is Curtis Kleinsmith with the Kleinsmith Firm. Just call the number that you see on your screen. It's 1-888-816-2521. Again, 888-816-2521. Or email your question to curtis at kleinsmithfirm.com. Tell us a little bit more about your firm, Curtis. Well, Brenda, we, we specialize in nursing home abuse. That, that's the area of law that we are passionate about. It's something that we feel we can make the most difference in. And it's something that is needed. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said earlier, we're one of, the few state, one of the few law firms in the state that actually still does nursing home abuse. So we think that we provide a needed service and we, we love doing it. Absolutely. 888-816-2521 is the number to call. 888-816-2521. Up next, Carol in Farmers Branch has a question. Go ahead, Carol. The last time I visited the facility that my brother's in, I was amazed at all the obvious numbers of accidents waiting to happen. Uh, things like, you know, drinks spilled on the floor, appliance cords um, hanging across the whole, halls. Uh, do I need to go ahead and pull them from the facility? Mm, good question. What well, that, that's, that's a personal decision you need mm -hmm. to make as a family, but those are signs of potential abuse. If a facility is not being properly taken care of, that's a sign they're not spending money in the right areas, and it could lead to falls. It could lead to many things that would cause harm to your, to your loved one. Okay, 888-816-2521. You know, it used to be that we would hear, we hear about uh, nursing home abuse cases all the time. Um, but like we were saying earlier, a lot of attorneys shy away from them because, t to be perfectly honest, there's just not enough money in it for them. Well, unfortunately, with the way that uh, the legislature uh, structured the law, they've made it an impediment to file these type of cases. They put caps on damages and they've also had legislative things, ma maneuvers that made it harder to file these lawsuits. Mm -hmm. So lawyers do shy away from them. Uh, it's you know for us obviously as a business we have to we have to make money to stay to stay solvent. Yeah. But this is more than just a money making opportunity for us. We feel that it's yeah. a, an ethical question that needs to be addressed, and that's one of the reasons we do it. And you know you raise a good question. So maybe it's not the money. It's more it's more difficult to work up. It's a harder case to prove. That's correct. It takes a lot of money. You have to hire experts in order to give you an opinion as to whether or not there was abuse. They're very cost uh, cost prohibitive for a lot of firms to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an entire team of, of, of professionals. We have legal nurse consultants that are ready, doctors, uh, people that we've worked with over the years that help us make this an easier process. All right, 888-816-2521 is the number to call. Jason in Fort Worth is on the phone now with a question. Go ahead. My aunt, she's been in a facility for about two years, and the other day I went in and she was restrained. They actually had her tied up in restraints. It it was really upsetting, and, and no one even at the facility bothered to call me or let me know anything that was going on. And uh, I was I was pretty upset to say the least. To say the least. Understandable. Thank you for your phone call. Um, what's your experience with a well, situation like this? Well, well, a person should not be restrained without the family's uh, notice of that. Mm -hmm. That's that's the first thing. So that, that is definitely abuse. Uh, another thing that nursing homes will do is try to restrain people so they don't have to take care of them, to be quite honest. And they not only do it physically with the restraints that were just mentioned, but they can do it with chemical restraints. Mm -hmm. uh, they drug people, to be honest, and they do things that are not... Uh, what we would consider humane in order to cut, to have less work for their staff. Is it provable? And if so, is it abuse? It's certainly abuse, and it is provable. Uh, each nursing home has to keep a chart. They, they have to keep a chart. A lot of the times that chart isn't correct. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the experts that we have available to us, we can go through that chart and see if a person was being chemically restrained, if the restraint was improper. Uh, the bed sores, you know, go on and on about the type of, types of abuse that occur. Uh, the chart is very telling. And would you say if you suspect abuse, don't wait? Yeah, it's very important to get your loved one, first of all, to a safer environment. Uh, that, that's number one. Uh, too often we see this after the fact when someone has passed away or the abuse is very severe. If you suspect abuse, move your loved one immediately. Mm -hmm. That's number one. 
Number two, we need to get the records as soon as possible after this abuse has been uh, seen so that we can make sure that records aren't tampered with. That happens way too often. 888-816-2521. Mm, 888-816-2521. We do have time for one more email question before we take the break. The question is from Michelle in Dallas. She says, my mother takes many different prescriptions and I'm worried someone will forget or get them mixed up. What's my recourse if that happens? Well, Michelle, that, that is a common problem in nursing homes. We see it all the time to where medications are given to the wrong patients, uh, people are over-medicated, so that is abuse. Uh, the main thing, and I, and I say this all the time, if you have a loved one in a nursing home, be, first of all, be there. Make sure that your loved ones are getting the prescriptions that they need. Make sure that they're being turned every two hours as they should be. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Uh, if there are mistakes, uh, especially with prescriptions, they can be severe, and it's certainly abuse. Mm -hmm. I have a girlfriend whose mother is in a nursing home, and every night she's there having dinner with her mom. That's important. Mm -hmm. That's extremely important. All right, 888-816-2521 is the number to call, or you may email your question to curtis at kleinsmithfirm.com. We'll be right back.